Joining me now on Telecom TV is Arpit Joshipura, General Manager Networking at the Linux Foundation. Arpit, here we are at the close of another Open Networking Summit. What have been your key takeaways from ONS Europe 2019? Well, first of all, uh, second year in Europe uh, has been fantastic. Uh, the response has been very positive. Uh, you know, we saw more content, uh, more people speaking, uh, really great conversations, and this is such a beautiful city, uh, Antwerp, right? So we're going to come back here next year as well. Of course, the community never stands still, and you've added some new projects to LFM this year. Uh, yes, we do. Uh, first, uh, key takeaways from ONS, uh, which again bring up these projects, is, is the telecoms uh, service providers have spoken. They have, they're now banking on open source being the de facto way they build their next gen networks, which includes 5G, edge, and IoT. So the entire spectrum of edge to core is now banking on open source. And here's where we are you know, in LF, trying to help the operators to move them that way. Uh, so as part of that, uh, LF networking has made great progress, specifically ONAP, OPNFE, uh, we've launched uh, and very successfully uh, published the first spec of the program called OVP, which is a compliance and verification program. Uh, all it is is, you know, can we get VNF onboarded on an NFVI infrastructure as quickly as possible in a very simple and standard way? And the answer is yes, telcos are behind it, vendors are behind it. So that was a big announcement. Uh, projects like OpenSwitch, which is a a, a simple um, operating system that abstracts white box and disaggregated hardware. Uh, they are now inducted into the LF networking. Uh, and, and overall, I think the commercialization of the software, specifically ONAP, uh, is seeing great strides and great progress. So, you know, overall, uh, we're moving in the right direction very rapidly. Earlier this year, the Linux Foundation signed a legal cooperation MOU with Etsy. Is that progressing well? Two years ago, I think I talked to you and said, I have a vision of harmonizing with the standards organization. And here we are, you know, the director general is keynoting at, from Etsy is keynoting the ONS, right? Uh, so we've come a long way, um, not just with Etsy, but Etsy, GSMA, MEF, TM Forum, 3GPP, you know, you name it. With Etsy, the latest ONAP Dublin release already has implemented multiple Etsy specs. So it's not just MOU, it's real code now. We're seeing increasing interest from telcos in the cloud. Why is cloud native now becoming important to CSPs? Uh, so first of all, uh, people confuse uh, the technology portion from the development portion from the business portion, okay? So we got to separate the, all of them out. I can cover all of them, but not in such a short time. Uh, the key thing that we have to un understand is from a process and a mindset perspective, cloud appears much more agile, much more faster development, much more real time, you know, hey, I got changes, let's push it out in production, let's see what happens, right? That's what the public cloud players are doing. So there's a process angle that we need to borrow in telecom, right? Then there's the technology angle. And this is where, you know, technologies like Kubernetes come in technologies like containers come in. And LF Networking and Kubernetes CNCF have been collaborating significantly to bridge that gap. Uh, so how do you bring the best of the container world to the best of the telecom world? Uh, no one answer exists, and we're going through the hard roadmap of every feature, making sure that as we bring the two technologies together, the telcos can still maintain their services, service level, their, their way of doing things while borrowing the portability, the speed of innovation, and the microservices technology that we all know and love. For those smaller CSPs not yet committed to open source or working with LFM projects, what's your advice to them and why should they get involved? So first of all, LFN as a community, if you look at all the participating carriers, uh, if you add the number of mobile subscribers they have, that accounts for almost 70% of the global uh, mobile subscribers, right? That's in the billions, over three billion, right? So we just had uh, Globe Telecom join, right? That's a huge carrier in Philippines, right? We welcome them and they now uh, understand the value. So 
We have the ecosystem. Open source is all about community and sharing R&D. So if the R&D is here, people should join here. Now, when we look at some stats, uh, we find that carriers who are participating in LF networking, uh, they have an unfair advantage. I think they are taking six times the share from their competitors, right? So they're growing in the country they are in more than the ones that are not. I'm not saying that's because of LFN. I don't know if it's a cause or a correlation, right? But something to think about.